Hey everybody, um, just wanted to do a quick video to show this uh, trick that you can see I'm smiling because I'm so happy that I finally figured this out. It's like a templating trick. It's like if you want to allow someone to create a template for something and then you know create new options for it with different file formats. I'll just I'll just show it because it's it's hard to explain. So for this, it's um if you are managing vendors and creating requests for proposals, this is like a way for you to set up templated evaluation criteria in advance so that when those proposals start coming in, it's like, okay, we want to select or we want to evaluate each proposal based on the cost, maybe the vendor's references, uh, their risk management plan and their commitment to diversity. So it's like you just select these um, criteria and then who do you want on your evaluation team and you create these criteria. So now every time someone submits a, a vendor submits a proposal, uh, you have these criteria set up to judge or evaluate the proposal. But the trick is like, how do you make it such that someone could create a new criteria of whatever type they want and switch between the types? Because obviously a checkbox is a column, a dropdown is a column. If it's a checkbox, I don't want to see the dropdown column, but it has to be there as an option so it's like it's like this weird management piece so i'll just show it to you new criterion so you select this it, it chooses checkbox for you it doesn't matter what it is uh video cool and you can write a description is the video cool and here's the check the box if the video is cool and so this is currently a checkbox if you want to switch it to be a drop down uh, a type drop down evaluation criteria, then you just click this button and it switches to the dropdown. And now you've got this ability to say, okay, well, the dropdown values are yes and no. And instead of guidance being check the box, it's select yes or no from the dropdown. Okay, and then you can see that here's what your dropdown will look like, right? It's yes or no selection box. And that's great. So. And again, if you want to switch it to be a scale, here's scale, so you can set the lower, the upper, and the scale in increment um, to allow someone, to, if they're trying to create this criteria, to make it a scale criteria instead. And you know, my problem that I've had in trying to do this before was always like, well, how do I, when someone selects checkbox, get rid of all that other, or text in this case, get rid of the... Um, fields that they don't need. And so the, the way that I figured out how to do this, and you may have already seen it up in the top, is we're looking at different views of the evaluation criteria table. So every time I click the button, I'm switching to a different view. Uh, and it, it also switches the visual of the button. And, and that's really it. So all of this information is all on the same row. Every checkbox criteria has scale columns as well they're just not used unless it's um unless it's of that type so you can see for the button i've got a run actions where it's just toggling through um the button types so it's like looking up to a different button type if you've clicked the button and then it's doing the switch if to say okay now open the new row and it just all you're doing is switching between these different um views uh, with each click and I guess the visual, yeah, then the visual is just looking up to whatever the display type is and that's being changed on click to. And that's it. I find it's like super cool, super easy. It's adding, adding and removing. It's nice too. And yeah, there's our new video cool. And once I'm in there, I can switch it again if I want it to be a text um, or some other type. Cool. Well, yeah, ask me any questions you like. Uh, that was kind of a quick description, but yeah. Um, happy building.